in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today, we will talk about the story of Saint Tekla Himanot, the Ethiopian. His father was a priest in the church, and his mother, Sarah, prayed that God would give her a child. God answered her prayers and gave her a child, and she called him the happiness of Sihion. With the prayers of Archangel Michael. After a year and a half, there was a feast for Archangel Michael, and the parents could not celebrate it because they didn't have enough flour and oil to make food. Sarah cried for God to give her food. While she was carrying her baby, he wiped her tears and pointed to the kitchen where some flour in a plate were there. Then he put his hands in the flour and it started to increase and increase. And the same happened with the oil. So she thanked God for providing her with flour and oil. When Santa Cla grew up, the bishop ordained him a priest. He always fasted and prayed because he loved God. Santa Cla traveled across the cities of Ethiopia to preach the name of Jesus Christ. One time, Santa Cla went to the monastery to visit some monks and spend some time with them. This monastery was on top of a mountain. And the only way to get down was to use a rope. So when he was leaving, the monks tied a rope around him to go down. While Santa Cla was going down, the rope was cut. Oops. The monks were worried and cried to God and said, He will fall. He will die. Suddenly, they saw six wings surrounding him. This turned out to be Archangel Michael, who saved him and carried him until he reached the ground. The monks then thanked God. At the end of Saint Tekla's life, he lived in a cave. When he turned 99 years old, his cave was lit with a heavenly light. He saw God, the Virgin Mary, and Archangel Michael. And he went to heaven. May his holy blessing be with us all. Amen. Pray for me and see you next time. Bye.